Well, hello YouTube. I know this video will not, most definitely not, gain a bunch of fans. But, I've never run into more stupid people in my life. I just don't get it. See these pen down riggers? I've also got boom extensions. I've got extra pads and hardware. I've got the old style swivels. Disregard all the welding stuff here. All the nuts and bolts for them. I probably had a hundred people on Facebook Marketplace, which I absolutely hate dealing with those freaking Zuckerbuck people. Like I said, this ain't going to win no fan base because I've never seen such mor moronic shit in my life as those people on Facebook. I despise Facebook. I don't even know how Facebook works. I don't care. The only reason I'm, I even have a link on my website is for search engine optimization, I guess. I can't even sign into my own way, Facebook uh, page or whatever. I got three of them just so I can put crap up for sale. But all this downrigger stuff right here. I must have had a hundred people ask me, hey, is that still available? They, number one, I don't know how these people are employed. How do these people have a job where it says, don't basically ask me if they're available, because if they're here, they are. Email me if you're interested. They don't. They won't. I mean... How do these people, if they can't follow a simple direction, how do these people have jobs? I don't understand it. I don't understand how people have, how they're even employed and have money to even buy anything, you know? So, I always say, email me, email me, email me. Because that's how I am going to know the difference between a Facebook Zuckerbook moron out there and somebody who is actually, I thought I heard something. I think it's just water. Um, the difference between somebody who's serious and somebody isn't. They're going to email you, okay? Just like something else I'm gonna show you here uh, coming up in the next minute or two. Uh, but these are just your standard downriggers. Pen 625, pen 620. All this plus the booms. These are uh, some boom extensions. Or boom replacements and then you got the uh, swivels here I can't do this with one hand but they swivel the other style these are super vintage the other style has these big like star things where you kind of click it this way these you set how they swing by just a pin inside. These are back when the pen downrigger swivels were extremely, extremely simple. And then, of course, I have in here three pads with the with the nut there. Three pads. There's a brand new pad. That thing's never seen anything. I don't know where the... 
screw is for it. Might be in here. Yeah, there's the nut for it right there. So, uh, this is a lot of stuff to get started in the trolling. I'm not, I'm not ever going to use these ever again. <coughs> 400 takes it all. That's an absolute steal. Steal! Let's see, what else do I have here? I got this uh, commercial life ring. Just put your own name on it. If you're a commercial boat of any sort, flavor, you're going to have to have one of these, see? This is the Jim Bowie brand, commercial ring, type 4 PFD. Okay, it's got the, the build date on it, 41706. So, I don't need this one. I'm going to sell that, I don't know, 20 bucks, 25 bucks, something like that. Alright, let's go inside the tackle vault. And I'm going to show you some of the uh, rods and the moronic shit that the rods have caused. But I don't understand these people on Facebook. I'm even selling a... Uh, $450 Heretic Colossus, which you may have seen if you're a usual YouTube viewer. I'm selling that knife because I just don't need it. Uh, it's like brand new in the box. Sharper shit. And made in Central Florida on the East Coast. Heretic the son of the guy who had, who's uh, owner of Microtech. And the Colossus is not a big knife. They called it a Colossus. I don't know why. But um, I got a guy who is all interested in it. As long as it's on Facebook, he won't even email me. See, people in the business world, the business world, don't hang around on Facebook. Okay, I mean, you go into super business, you know. <laughs> they all got Facebook pages for search engine optimization and the post crap, I guess. But they've got secretaries and people to do that stuff or whole departments. I don't. And I don't care about Facebook. I hate it. It shows the moronic... Uh, depths that humans will go. Let's go look at the rods. Thing I've never understood is why people waste your time. I don't sit around on Facebook. It's not on my phone. It will never be on my phone. I'm not interested in anything that's going on there. And I just don't get it. If somebody was interested in something and you said, hey, Go ahead and email me for more information or whatever. I'm not having these big chit chats on Facebook. It's not going to happen. And one guy, <laughs> one absolute, this is the most, this is the goofiest thing I ever heard of in my life. These are people, I guess, that just live their entire life through that social media bullshit. Um, I, he was all interested in something. And I said to him, uh, well, just email me, jettywolf at gmail.com. Real simple. And he comes back and goes, I don't email. Oh, okay. Well, then you're probably like some 20-something-year-old then. I don't email. Really? Is email now? Let me know. Put it in the comments. Because I really don't care, you know, what anybody thinks. Uh, is email now, so 1999, just like websites, I got a website and I'm telling you a hundred calls, charter calls, I'll get 10 people who actually have seen my website. They don't give a shit. They don't care. 
They don't want to look at anything. There's links there. There's directions. There's a map. Nobody cares. That's the reason I'm stepping out of this stuff. So, okay. Here's one thing I got. Now, granted, this stuff isn't the greatest in the world. Here is a... Oh, thank God it's an ugly stick. Here's a uh, ugly stick light. This is the original of all original originals, which was one of the greatest ugly sticks ever made. But it's a damn spinner. See these guides right here? These guides were on these rods, what, 20 years ago? Before an ugly tough guide ever became a thing. These used to be painted and all the paint wore off of them. See, here's an ugly tough guide. There's an ugly tough guide. It's the same exact type of guide. So they basically did not come up with anything new. Shakespeare did not come up with anything new. This is the same thing from 20 years ago. This is now what they tout as ugly tough guides right here's one on a spinner same exact guide they get ugly green nasty at least these were painted on the old rods so ugly tough is not a new thing just so you know all right so i got i got this I got this spinner. It is got the greatest action. Oh my God, has it got a great action. I mean, I might even keep it. Look at that. Ooh, man, that's a wiggly. That's, that's a God dang buggy whip right there. But here's the problem. Years and years ago, I had, of course, a customer smash the living hell out of this guide. And I had to put something on here real fast so I whipped myself on a guide and then I just put some clear coat over it or whatever but guess what it works that does not affect anything actually this thing is probably on there just as tough as that one right there so I'm selling this and then I got a whole bunch, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ugly stick striper casting. Casting models. Seven foot, medium light. There you go. Take a picture of that. Seven foot, medium light, six to twenty, quarter to three quarter. That's total bullshit. I run these. These are my float rig rods. Absolute buggy whip. Ugly tough guides. Rubber gimbal. That's the greatest thing they ever did to these rods. Putting that rubber gimbal on it. So, as you can see. Okay, let's see here. I mean, totally buggy whipped. You can't hurt these things. Total buggy whip. I'm getting rid of some of these. Float rig fishing is not something that works that well anymore in Jacksonville, Florida. Too many, too many shit fish. And then here's the biggie. Yeah, I still have these original. And I mean, people just don't get it. I mean, they just don't get it. Everybody's interested in these, right? Did a video about how I had six or eight of these. These are the Tiger Ugly Stick Tiger Light Jigging. Now they call them the E-Light. These aren't E-Lights. These have the Fuji Guides the Fuji real seat. 
says Fuji right there, it says Fuji right there, and they have the aluminum gimbal on them. Seven or six foot three, and this is also a bunch of crap right here. Four to seven ounces, you could actually put way more on here, but they're jigging rods. These don't weigh anything. Alright, they're, they call them heavy action, but hell, <laughs> you know, we've used these just for plain old bottom fishing. I use these for shark fishing. I use these for bull red fishing. Try to find one of these with even the ugly tough guides. These are the originals. These are the ones that came out first before all those ugly tough guides and the cheapening of these all right so you will not find even these in a store not in duval county jacksonville florida you won't you can't find these things and if you do you there's like one sitting there these actually used to be sold at walmart and gander mountain so these are in perfect condition I'm doing two for a hundred. That's 50 bucks a rod. You can't touch these. You can't touch these. These are regular tigers, medium light tigers with the ugly tough guides. The old ash, or the, the new ugly ash tough guides. These things get so ugly and nasty. But these don't. These Fuji guides are beautiful. Everything's perfect with these. Two for a hundred bucks. You can't beat them. I'm not using them. I'm not using them. But let me tell you how many people watched the last video. They watched the last video. I just had a guy 20 minutes ago. He watches the video of me talking about how I had a bunch of these for sale. And then at the very end, I say, I'm not shipping these because you won't pay for the shipping. This will cost 30 bucks to, to put in a tube. I got to find a tube. I got to send them off the whole nine yards. So you're not going to pay that as a buyer. Well, it gets all the way down to the end. This guy's like, hey, I'm interested in those rods you got. And then he comes back and goes, oh, forget it. I saw where you're not going to ship them. Yeah, I'm not shipping it for $100. $50 a rod. Add about 30 on it or more just to ship it to Texas. I mean, he's the second one that actually said that. Oh, I spoke too soon. I saw the end of the video. That's another thing on YouTube. People do not watch videos throughout, just like you're not going to watch this one throughout. Um, I've got these, which are the old ugly stick lights made for Walmart. Look at this one. It's never been used, I don't think. It's just been handled. Maybe it's been used. Yeah, but though this one was used. That's right. Because I had charters break the break the first guide. And you know how they do that? By setting the rod down. And here's the gunnel. Here's the gunnel of the boat. And they stick the rod down and it's hanging on the gunnel. And then somebody bangs it or something like that and cracks this completely thing off. So, I spun on, just like I did on that spinner, I spun on a uh, self-wrap. I mean, I'm talking quick, dirty, but that ain't going nowhere, folks. And that's sort of a matching guide to these. So, here's the deal on, on modern uh, casting rods double foot see how that's got a double foot on it double foot double foot double foot on these newer rods what do you get you get some single foot and somebody just touches that thing and snaps it right off but that is that doesn't hurt anything about the usage it's just not aesthetically pleasing I got two that are identical that somebody broke. Here's another one. 
except I did a little better job on this one. That is a lot better looking job, of course, than this. Okay. But you can cut that off and do it yourself. I'm getting rid of these two. Ugly stick inner coastals. These are the exact same as the ugly stick lights that were this color. They don't make these anymore. Ugly Stick Light, L-I-T-E, Shakespeare, holographic decal with that color. These are identical to that, but casting and made for Wally's World. And guess what? They don't make these anymore either. So I'm getting rid of those two. All you have to do is just email me these morons on Facebook. I mean, what the hell? What the hell is people's problems? Is that still available? And I go, yeah. Hit me up on jettywolf at gmail.com. Jettywolf at gmail.com. It's real simple. Okay, the next one, I got an Ugly Stick Tiger casting rubber gimbal, Ugly Tough Guides, but this is a two-piece eight-footer. Really, this is a great rod for surf fishing. Put yourself a small casting reel on here because all you're doing is catching whiting 99% of the time, and you wouldn't believe this rod Caught a hundred pound black tip on a top water. I got video proof. I glued it together right here. So I'm selling that one too. So that's pretty much what I'm getting rid of. And you're probably going to say to yourself, but Dave, why are you getting rid of all that? Because as you can see, it's a rack and stuff in the, in the garage of shit that I don't use. I don't use it and I am going into a new trade and I'm going to need some more new tools. So I'm taking these old tools that I don't use and I'm putting them in to my HVAC and refrigeration tools that I will be needing in the very near future within a year. So I'll give everybody a year to, if they want to check all this out. It's really simple. You email me, we'll meet. Even on a weekend, on a Sunday, something, you can come by, I won't bite, I don't bite, I don't bite. You want to come get it, just bring yourself, bring a pocket full of cash, and you're going to get leave with deals. I'm not buying all new tools, I've already got a list that I'm looking at on eBay of some used tools. I can't put this stuff on eBay because I'm not going to ship it. Okay? I can't even imagine what all the downriggers would cost to ship. I even got downrigger weights, but they're homemade. I got one 10 pound ball that's like a store bought. So there you go. But I just can't believe these people. Oh, the lens is really smudged. Hold on. I just can't believe these Facebook people. They're a whole nother subset of the way the world works, you know? Oh, I don't email people. I'm not into email. <laughs> really? Business still uses email. This is a business transaction. So I'm giving up on this Facebook shit. Do you want to see the knife? I'll show you the knife. That I'm also selling. It's the most expensive thing, but you're saving probably close to a hundred dollars. All right, here's the Heretic knife. 100% made in USA, made in Central Florida. You probably won't be able to see it, but this knife retails for four hundred and seventy-five dollars. Right there. 
This ain't no knockoff. This ain't no nothing. This is the super real deal. Comes with their uh, new OTF lube sample. There it is. It's got like this real rough texture stuff inside this milling. Pocket clip. It has been handled, that's for damn sure. I carried it a couple times just to see what it was like. Super traction. Two-tone single edge wicked sharp blade with factory edge 350 versus 475 i don't know where you're going to find this any cheaper right there heretic colossus serial number usa heretic knives little glass breaker kind of ball right there Ready to go. 350. Almost forgot. Here's a brand new, never taken out of the box, OEM Suzuki propeller. Never been taken out of the box. I've opened the box to take pictures. It's a 3 by 16 by 17 right rotation. There is the model number. 17 pitch. All right. There it is. I've never taken it out of the box. Here we go. First time taking it out of the box. It's brand spanking new. Suzuki 3 by 16 by 17 right rotation Brand new hub ready to go put it on your boat All right Starting bids on this is about five hundred and ninety five dollars which is Kind of a, a steal is this the way it goes? No. It goes like this. If not, I'll just sell this with my boat when I get rid of it. Because that's the ultimate plan, is to get a new boat. So, there you go. Suzuki prop. Water grip is what they call it. Brand new. That's all of it. That's the rant. JettyWolf at gmail.com. See you later.